Hello everyone, my name is Lei Jie Wang, and I'm excited to talk about our work on exploring how ML-based flagging systems work in Wikipedia, studying community size, local activity, and disparity treatment. I am presenting this work on behalf of my wonderful collaborator, Hai Yi Zhu. Online communities play an indispensable role in our daily life, but we still see with disappointment an overwhelming amount of hate speech and misinformation. Therefore, content moderation algorithms are widely used to remove undesirable content. Well, despite their efficiency, content moderation algorithms sometimes will raise fairness concerns. For example, in Wikipedia, community members are worried that moderation algorithms might discriminate against anonymous editors. In our research, we aim to provide a quantitative analysis of whether and how moderation algorithms influence fairness in Wikipedia. Wikipedia encourages anyone to edit any page. This principle helps Wikipedia grow to the largest encyclopedia in the world. But on the other hand, it also requires the community to remove and detect damaging edits effectively. Therefore, a number of content moderation systems are being deployed. In our research, we focus on rhythm change filters. This system provides three filters and the moderator can choose to use one of them to select and review potentially damp problematic edits. These three filters have different structures which represent different trade-offs between prediction and recall. For example, the may have problems filter tend to flag any edit that has any damaging sign, and therefore it has the lowest prediction for the highest recall. In our research, we are interested in the following three research questions. By flagging potentially damaging edits, how does the rhythm change filters impact the moderation decisions? Since this moderation system was surfaced edits by all kinds of editor groups, Will this moderation system help alleviate the disparity treatment between different editor groups? We further would like to investigate these two questions in communities of different characteristics, namely community size and local editing activity. We measure the size of a community by its number of new edits every day. English Wikipedia is the largest one, while Finland Wikipedia is a small community. We also measure the level of local editing activity by the number of active ed editors in local communities. While there are nearly 200 active ed editors in the most active articles, there is only one editor in the list active articles. Our research method regression discontinuity design takes advantage of this thresholding feature. Before any filter is deployed, we would expect the relationship between the damaging score and the reverting rate to be linear. However, after this filter is deployed, edits immediately above the threshold will then be flagged, while edits immediately below the threshold will not be flagged. Then there is a sudden jump of reverting rates across the threshold, and we measure the causal effect of the rhythm change filters by this sudden jump. We then applied the regression discontinuity design to the 4 million edits we collected from Wikipedia. In summary, there are three key takeaways and you could pause to see it more clearly. These findings have important implica design implications for future designers of online platforms. This is all of my presentation and thanks for listening.